Mark, welcome to Barnet Football Club. How does it feel to be here? Uh, really pleased. Uh, it's a good club. Uh, been here uh, on a few occasions with uh, different academy sides. Uh, always been impressed with the facilities and obviously with the new sort of management staff that's been put in place throughout the summer. Hopefully it's uh, exciting times and uh, you know we can look forward uh, to a good season. So for, for, those of the, for, for those people who don't know how the academy is going to run, can, can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, well obviously um, uh, the, the club lost the, uh, the Category 3 status uh, with being in the National League for a couple of seasons. So it's been a difficult period for the academy. Um, so what we hope to do is um, maintain and develop our existing under-19s programme. We've got a good relationship with Cannon's, uh, Cannon School um, and there's been a lot of good work going on with the staff there that have been running the programme the last year. But what we hope to do now is try to um, create perhaps a better link with, with the first team, uh, with the football club, uh, and try to uh, primarily sort of concentrate on those older age groups initially. And then what the plan is as we move forward through the season is to uh, then try and sort of look at some development centre stuff with the younger age groups and then work towards sort of, um, you know, getting the junior section of the club going again. But we, you know, the club uh, want the, ac the academy to succeed. You know, it's always good when, you know, you can try to get some young players coming through the system. And just because, you know, we're a national league club at the moment, it shouldn't sort of um, stop us doing that if we can get the right types of programmes in place and that are with the right support and the right type of coaching so uh, you know we're still very much as a club looking to try to develop our own players um, now we're out of the sort of football league funding type type of uh, sort of thing we have to do that in slightly different ways but uh, it's a, you know it's a, exciting for me because it's almost a, a bit of a blank canvas where I can hopefully shape things and um, help the academy grow over the next uh, two to three years. I mean, you just touched on it there. How important is an academy for a club like Barnet? Well, I think at all clubs, you know, uh, the academies are, um, uh, are crucial, really. Um, every club wants to try and develop their own players. Uh, the players that come through usually have a real affinity with the club. Uh, the supporters like to see sort of homegrown players coming through. And, um, you know, for the... Um, you know, you know the, the the fans of the club, um, the, the the managers that are in place, uh, the directors. You know, having sort of your own players is is uh, really really important. It's not an easy thing to do though. Um, you know, young player development does take you know a bit of time. It takes you know investment and and, and uh, you, you know uh, good coaching as well. So yeah, it isn't like a short term thing. You're not suddenly going to click your fingers and all of a sudden you've got sort of uh, ten players that are, you know. Um, good enough for the first team but you know yeah we, we'll keep working towards sort of trying to produce our own players and um, and uh, give everybody in the academy system a, an opportunity to progress. I mean you've got previous experience working within uh, academies what what skills for, from your previous roles are, gonna, uh, are you going to take into this new one? Yeah, I've got, got quite a broad experience within sort of coach development, really. Uh, I've worked full time in academies. I've, I've worked at, at Watford Football Club and, and Stevenage Football Club in senior roles. Uh, also got the experience of managing at first team level as well. So I understand the sort of uh, the um, link, if you like, between the academy and first team football. I had three good years at Oxford City Football Club as the first team manager there. Uh, so I've got a broad experience, um, you know, in youth development and in first team football and hopefully I can sort of use some of those experiences that uh, I've learned over the last sort of few years and um, you know help us sort of develop our academy. And just finally how can the fans uh, help support the, the uh, new academy set up? Well, I think um, they can support it by uh, sort of um, following us on, on, on our social media and, and, and our website. We're going to be doing quite a lot of trials uh, throughout, the, throughout the season. Um, so just sort of supporting, supporting that, maybe sort of giving, giving some of the articles sort of retweets and likes and just sort of generally keeping an eye on what we're doing in, on, in the academy is always helpful. Um, our games programme, we, we've entered an under-19 team into the National League Alliance uh, division this year, which is quite a competitive league. We're going to be playing on a Wednesday afternoon at, at the Hive, so you know everyone's always welcome to come and, and, and watch the under-19 side. Um, but just generally, yeah, uh, supporting the, the club as they do and uh, just keeping an eye on what we're trying to do within the academy.